All right, so I'm going to remove this capacitor from this board. Boom, done. It's over there now. And then I'm going to remove this one. Done. And I'm going to remove this one. Done. This is really, really useful. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a mailbag time and we have something that's pretty interesting actually. It's this soldering station slash tweezers. It's basically soldering tweezers and uh, I've been using it quite often right now and, and I'm really enjoying it. But I'll have a full review on that later on. We're going to check out how this works in a little bit and do a little test run on the channel right here. I mean this video. Alright, so I got this thing here. I got some ceramic tweezers. I really wanted some ceramic tweezers. Um, they just look cool. So I just picked up a couple. Or no, actually I just picked up one because it's pretty expensive. And uh, I got this helping hands. However, the helping hands is a bit of a letdown. It's really nice. I thought these would be silicone, but they are, I think, plastic or even possibly 3D printed. And uh, the arm is really, just really weak. And that was a really... Uh, I need to find some other I don't even know what this parts called if you know let me know down in the comment section So all these things are linked down below. I also got the jumper t85 G light from banggood This was providing me by banggood Thank you banggood um, but you know just Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I still would say the fly sky is a lot better quality a lot better quality but you know the gimbals are just it's 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 more of a toyish than than a real transmitter now it's saying multi-protocol i don't know what protocol it's running we're going to do a separate video for this later on probably even do a tear down just see what's inside of this guy so yeah we're going to be checking this out very soon on the channel and i also got a couple of these here uh these are right here there they are i got like seven of these i'm planning on a project to do an fpv antenna tester uh which will just measure rssi and do all kinds of crazy things with an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi. So I got six of these and I'm hoping to uh, make this project for the community. So basically people can test out other antennas and share their information somewhere online. Maybe I can make a little uh, space for that and then where it just actually compiles all the data for people to go through. I thought it'd be pretty interesting if anyone has time or wanted to do that, that'd be pretty awesome. So uh, it's not gonna cost much, but I, I st I'm still in the progress of doing it. I got like six of these, I think. Yeah, there you go. One, two, three, four, five, five. I got five of them. So you don't need five, but I just need, just got five just because I have other projects. And what these are, uh, these are like SD card expansions for Arduino. So you can, you know, log data to the SD card here and then later on read it and do something with it. So yeah, I got this here. And uh, let's remove this guy. And I also got this brand new silicone pad. Uh, this is a lot larger than the current one I used to have. It, the, the one I had was white and it was a lot smaller. It was, it's really good, but the thing is, it's just absolutely filthy. It just looks really dirty now. And uh, I picked up this one, and it has a magnetic strip up here. So, you know, whatever screw you throw up here, it'll stick right there. So that's really nice. And uh, you can basically solder on this guy, which is really nice also. So let's get to the good part. Now, every, obviously, everything is linked down below if you wanted to check any of these things out. So let's take a look at this guy. So they do provide the sponge and the holder here, as well as the soldering iron. It's actually still on here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here and it's basically kind of like a station in a way because it does come with a control module which is separate and I wish it had some weight to it or something and it's this module right here as you can tell it's powered on and off from here and you can switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit and uh, you can obviously control the temperature to 200 uh, Celsius is the minimum which is 309 or oh, 650 oh sorry no that's the temperature now. 392 is the minimum and the max in Fahrenheit is 896 and in Celsius it's 480 maximum and it's 200 Celsius minimum. So let's set this up to around 3, uh, 3, 3, yeah 380, we'll just say this is 380. So what I really don't like about this is this part comes just alone so I have to kind of mount it somewhere and while I'm mounting it usually after I set the temperature, the temperature tends to change because it'll hit that little dial. And now it actually changed to 300, 406, so now it's 374, I just dropped it back down. So let's wait for this to cool down, or I mean heat up, so as you can tell right here. So let's do a quick run here. Now, and again, I'm really far away from this, so um, yeah, if I'm not very stable, just know that. But obviously, when you'll, you'll, take, you'll see for yourself right now. So let's go ahead and take this. Alright, so I'm going to remove this capacitor from this board. Boom, done. 
it's over there now. And then I'm going to remove this one. Done. And I'm going to remove this one. Done. This is really, really useful and really awesome. To be honest, I didn't expect it to be this good. And then I'm going to remove that last one right there. All right, now putting it back is also really easy. But since it's far away, it's going to be possibly difficult. Hopefully, it'll go smooth sailing. So I'm going to pick up a capacitor and just put it into place here. And I can't see when the solder is actually melted. But I'm just going to let it go and hope for the best now. All right. So yeah, it just needs a little bit of fine tuning here because it's really far away from me. There we go. Let's put another one. So this is also what's so cool about the silicone pad. You can do something like this and not have to worry about burning or getting any kind of contaminants on the tip of your soldering iron, which is really cool. And you don't have to worry about burning the bottom side of your, uh, what is it? Anything below whatever you're working on, basically. All right, so it's going in very well, actually. Really nice. And this is very far away from me. When it's super close, I mean, when the camera is not in my face and the microphone and all these things, it's a lot easier. And um, it's actually very addictive and it's very fun. I can do so many DIY boards now. There we go. Really nice. Hopefully that's really nice. So we have something sticking up there, kind of. Which one is that one? Okay, so let's fix this one here. This one was kind of sticking up a little. There we go. I think I think that fixed it. Yeah, that fixed it. So, yeah. So we're going to do a very detailed review later on on this guy. Um, and uh, see how well he performs so far. I am really amazed and I'm really impressed and I really do like it and um, only time will tell so we're gonna be removing components off of these guys and repairing it I did find the Dal RC with the burnt OSD finally that I burned and uh, or was it the burnt OSD no it wasn't the burnt OSD it was the the one that I shorted out something in it so we can go ahead and debug that one and test it. I just found it today while cleaning up so that's gonna be pretty interesting and well that's it guys I really hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, there's a lot of things still coming on the way. I'm testing the hobby wing. I got the hobby wing ESC also. It's back there somewhere. I'll be testing that as well. And um, yeah, if you haven't picked up one of these, uh, I really recommend you pick up one of these. This is, this is absolutely phenomenal. I have been using this at least five times a day now. Um, just so quick to boot and then you can just make sure your quads running make sure your OSD is working edit your OSD while you can you know basically have this you're just holding it like this edit your OSD while you're in beta fly you can, oh my goodness you can do so many things with this I am truly in love and I'm thinking of getting another one because I want to do a project and I don't want to take this one apart just yet so I'm actually thinking of getting another one of these before taking it apart and creating some kind of a project with it because it's just um, it's absolutely phenomenal it, I remember this thing was 80 bucks now it's like 40 bucks or 30 something bucks which is really cool and um, yeah well that's it guys I really hope you guys enjoyed the video everything is linked down below and I will see you next time see you guys take care